Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the fourth week of April, so let's get started. Our first game this week is the third person shooter, Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered Edition. Set in a fully open destructible world where you can modify vehicles, weapons, armor, and launch attack on enemies however you like. Shakedown Hawaii features a 16-bit open destructible world where you can complete missions, take out bounties, or simply just mow everything down, set to release on Switch May 7th. Persona 5 Scramble The Phantom Strikers is a Musou-style action RPG set to release on Switch later this year, featuring characters from the Persona 5 universe tackling on hordes of Personas and popular locales from the series. Hindsight 2020 is a single-player game with morality-based decisions at its core. Each decision has long-lasting repercussions in the world with environmental puzzles to solve and side quests to complete. Enjoy traditional activities like growing crops, cultivating the farm, exploring, and bug hunting in the Raymond Story of Seasons, where you can develop not just the town, but the bonds with other town folks as well. Fly a variety of mighty mech suits fully loaded with missiles, energy blades, and particle cannons in relentless air combat, featuring a full-on story mode in Project Nimbus Complete Edition. You're a deep space salvage hunter who discovers the remains of a starship in Cenosis Alien Infection, a top-down sci-fi adventure survival game. The Sword of Ditto Mormus Curse is a roguelike action RPG that creates a unique adventure for each new hero of legend in the relentless fight against evil. Racing 5-ton trucks and tracks across all over the globe in Truck Racing Championship, featuring up to 12 vehicle races and a full-on story mode. Puyo Puyo Championship is releasing in May 7, featuring 24 characters designed to slowly introduce new players of all skill levels to its hectic gameplay. Kingdom of the Night is an 80s themed isometric story driven action RPG with an expansive interconnected map and open ended quest systems where the dead rise from their graves at night and wreak havoc in the streets. Announced on the latest issue of Famitsu, The Fruit, Labyrinth, and Eden of Grisaria full package is the trilogy of the three games in the Grisaria visual novel series. Full on English support plus a physical release have also been confirmed. As a member of the Stalker's Order, you must cross a vast, devastated world full of dungeons filled with puzzles, enemies, and traps, and hunt the night. Goetia the Infinite Tower pins you versus varied enemies as you progress and develop advanced tactics to quickly reach the top. Featuring over 100 levels to traverse, Hopping Girl Jumping Kingdom is an action game where you're hopping through puzzles and platformers while chaining together long combo chains. Seraptin Invasion takes inspiration from old school arcade shooters and adds in some modern touches and stunning pixel art. Another for me to reveal this week is that Ipan Ichi is bringing the horror survival visual novel Shin Hara Yagami 1 and 2 pack to the Switch July 18th. Originally planned for the 3DS, Hyperlight Ultimate is now making its way to the Switch instead, featuring refined HD gameplay and full on 4 user multiplayer. Toho Hifu Buenkyo is a turn based battler with over 50 stages set in the Toho world with characters from the popular series. Jack Jean is a visual novel following the life of an opera troupe consisting of just men, or so they thought until an intrepid girl joined their ranks to shake things up. Kamco is bringing The Legend of the Treacharchs to the Switch in June. This RPG features turn based battles and up to 10 allies with their own unique strategies using skill sets to level up. Bird Game is releasing on the Japanese eShop this May. Fly through wonderful two-tone worlds to avoid obstacles and traps on the way. Inspired by games like The Legend of Zelda, Shalnor Legends Sacred Lands is a pixel art action adventure game with 9 large zones to explore, chock full of puzzles to solve and dangerous monsters to vanquish. The action role like platformer Dig Dog has you digging to discover treasure where you'll experience an adventure and of course find plenty of bones. Voltage is bringing together two new visual novels to the Switch. The first one is Enchanted in the Moonlight, Miyabi, Kyoga, and Saman, followed by the popular Otome series, Enchanted in the Moonlight, Kiryu, Chikage, and Yukinojo. Both of them will be releasing this fall. Theater Tales lets you explore a traditional fairy tale and fables that every child should enjoy, providing educational elements and an opportunity to develop their imagination. 39 Days to Mars is a cooperative adventure game set in an alternative reality where you're tasked with piloting and engineering Marvel on its maiden voyage to Mars. Play as a pixel traveling through gaming history and super life of pixel, featuring over 19 historically inspired console visuals and over 100 levels to conquer. Daedalic Entertainment is bringing Edna and Harvey, Harvey's new eyes, to the Switch May 25th. And the news for this adventure series don't end there. Edna and Harvey, the breakout remake 10th anniversary edition, is also releasing June 5th. This is a 2D hand drawn award winning series. Featuring a full solo campaign and up to 4 players in a party mode, Gyro Boss DX is an arcade game where you have to avoid a boss's onslaught and be smart about their weak spots. 
Joe Jump Impossible Quest is an auto runner where a lumberjack is on a journey through the mountains. And that's all the game announcements we'll be covering this week. Nintendo's fiscal reports are out, and the Switch barely moved units this past quarter. It is not much of a surprise to honestly, seeing how little first party games Nintendo released in the first three months of 2019. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching, I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!